Number three, Number Northwestern three. will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. He's to the 20. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. He's scrambling. Tackle made at the 25-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time, and he's sacked. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Third down and 11 coming up here. Ball on the 22. Throwing left. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. He gets it away. And this is a really nice punt. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Northwestern staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk, and I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. I, you know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons, and I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. And down he goes at the 46 yard line. Now the defense didn't surrender much room there, but the run was still enough for the first down. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 49. pick up a first down. He has such a quick first step. Once he made that initial move to the inside on the slant, he already had the space he needed for the first down. Nice run there. That was a good play by the halfback. Picked up about five yards on the option. From the 39-yard line, second down. Throws and it's incomplete. And this play is number eight on the drive. Steps out of bounds. The 37-yard line. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. Northwestern is looking to go up by three. Kicks away. And he got it. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Wildcats are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. 
and he's tackled after positive yardage. Always a plus if you're able to pick up the first down with the running game. Second and five. Ball on the 42 yard line. Hey, check Mike 46. Check Mike 46. Knocked out of bounds. Around the 28 yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Throw, and he's got the half back again. And he's tackled at the 23. Well designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. He takes it right side for a good game. play 76 yard drive and that's good for a touchdown the score now 7-3 and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff he really got a hold of that kick and they can forget about returning this one you never like to have to play from behind but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds they just need to go out there and play Brought down at the 22 second and 13 ball on the 22 yard line He's hit right away. And he's hit immediately. So the defense does their job well on that series. <laughs> 
Not great, but not bad either. As long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position, then you're heading in the right direction. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Here he goes. They bring him down around the 41-yard line. Utah is up four. He's at midfield. He's taken down at about the 45. They'll make the sack. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He fights forward to around midfield. A two-yard run by the halfback. This safety did just a great job of reacting to the run and getting in there to make the tackle. Check, check, check. out. Disco Raver! Disco Raver! And they got him. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the pass into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. To the sack, it's now fourth and long. The youth really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Tackle made at the 30. When he made the decision to return the ball, I'm sure he thought there was going to be some room to run. But boy, did it vanish in a hurry. Still, he got something out of it. Their last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Utah holds a four-point lead. Tackle after a decent run up the gun. A nice seven-yard gain on the option keeper. Some open field. They hand it off. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. This receiver showed soft hands and hung on for the first down. And if I'm not mistaken, the defense sent their corner on a blitz. If he doesn't get to the quarterback, the numbers are in favor of the offense, just like we saw. 
And they push him out at about the 31. I think play action is a big part of this offense and what they're trying to do today. It's just, you know, they're running the football and they're mixing in some play action. And what that does is it freezes the linebackers and the safeties and puts a lot of pressure on them to have to be able to defend both the run and the play action. And as a play caller, when I know I can go to play action fast, boy, I feel really good about it's getting my quarterback in rhythm, slowing down the defense, and giving us a chance to make big plays. First and 10, ball on the 14. And he's taken down at the 15. Here's the eighth play of the series. They come out in a five wide set. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Third and long now after the sack. Utah is up by four. A junior makes the catch. He's tackled at the 14. It's up, and it's good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Good outside run there. He gets four, maybe five yards on the counter. Tackle made at the 43-yard line. That makes it first and ten. ten. Set, tight. Gives it up the gut. He makes it to the 45-yard line. He's on the run, and down he goes, around the 49-yard line. This is a quarterback who trusts his receivers, and he knows they can make plays. It's like those two were playing catch out there. Started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. From the 40-yard line, it's second down. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen, and he shoved out of bounds right around the 32-yard line. He unloads it. This one's intercepted. It's the junior safety. He tried to force that one in there. Yep. And the safety made him pay for it. Great job of watching the quarterback size and even a better catch. From their own 22-yard line, first down, five wide. They bring him down in the backfield. No 
Utah up seven points. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Third and ten. Ball of the 22. Check my 46. Check my 46. Screen pass. He's got his halfback. He's knocked out of bounds. Right around the 30. it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Brett, everywhere we go when we travel all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the pistol and hurry up tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. Catches it. He's immediately tackled behind the line. And he's leveled at the 23 yard line. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. So the sack makes this third and very long. So the offense fails to pick up a first down. That makes it fourth and long. And they're coming after this punter. Booming kick. He makes it to the 48-yard line. So we're just about ready to return to action. Utah is up a score. He airs it out. Finds the junior. Touchdown, Utes. effort by the wide receiver and not to take anything away from the quarterback but the wide receiver made this play and doesn't it always seem like he just finds a way to get open and he converts the extra point to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Nice run up the middle. A nice option play. The tailback gets six yards before he's brought down. And they make the stop at the 31-yard line. He's scrambling. And he is drilled at the 41. couldn't get those linemen blocked and they'll lose yards. Well here the defensive linemen did a great job at sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. From their own 40 yard line. Second down. 
And he makes it out to about the 41 yard line. That's good for a game of one yard. That brings us third and ten. Stop immediately. Gets it away. Wait a minute, he's going to throw. This one is batted away. Football will change hands as they fail to convert on fourth down. Offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. And he's tackled at the 39. Quick throw to the tight end. That'll bring up second and three. Tackles him hard at the 38-yard line. Two times, two times. I got two. I got two. Hey, check right 36. Check right 36. Go, go. Makes it out to about the 30. Reach the end of one. Utah's lead is two touchdowns. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. the second rushing touchdown of the game. He's run the ball very well, and he's going to see a lot more carries before this one's over. He's really helped carry the offense so far today. And he adds the extra point. It was an eight-play, 46-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Just throws this one away. Second and 10. Ball on the 19. Scrambling.
From their own 18-yard line, third down. Catches it, and he's looking for more. They'll bring him down right around the 46-yard line. A lot of fast receivers can be one-dimensional, but he's been working with his coaches to become more confident as a route runner. His progression has been very impressive. Up the middle for a nice game. That brings him second in five. He's going to try and scramble. He's at the 40. He's taken down around the 32-yard line. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. Now he tries to buy some time. He gets sacked on the play. That brings up second and 13. So that sack sets him back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. Set, blue for it. He steps out at the 33. Throw. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. The kick is up. And he nails the long field goal. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Throwing right. That close to being intercepted. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense and alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just caught the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. out to his rider, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five receivers in the formation. They come out on an empty backfield. Jets and leave everybody in the dust. You have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. From the 43 yard line, second down. Scrambling around. He's tackled at the 23. Tackled for a loss. So they end up with a loss 
Jets after the ball. Started out rushing the passer and then just got lucky and ran right into the running back on the draw. It's the ninth play of the drive. it up into the secondary like that and expect your guy to come down with it every time. The defense is going to jump on one of those and take it the other way. Touchdown, Utes! And he tacks on the extra point. It was an 11-play, 75-yard drive. And they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. But the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 31-6. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. Quick throw out to the receiver, and he hits him hard at the 37-yard line. That makes it first and ten. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He's on the run. He's at midfield. And down he goes around the 47-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He scrambles. And he's taken down right around the 32-yard line. First down. He sails it long. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. It was a pretty simple route, but they run it to perfection for the score. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Boy, this offense has been consistent throughout this entire football game. The quarterback's doing a good job of leading this team. How about the offensive line, the job that they've done? Just a great team effort to allow this offense to have a spectacular performance. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Coaches don't like it when the quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. On the ground, inside, and he's tackled after positive yardage. quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. The 
He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And down he goes at the 44-yard line. The Wildcats quarterback, Kirk, he has done his job. Unfortunately, there's 22 guys on the team, and one guy's doing a great job. The other 21 aren't so much. That's not going uh, the way they had hoped or planned. Right now, you're right. The quarterback's doing what he needs to do to be able to move the ball. But uh, the, the running backs, the wide receivers, the offensive line, the entire group, they've got to do a better job. Right now, when you look at that scoreboard, they've got to be really frustrated to think that they're down. Now, they still have time to get back in the game, and we'll see if they can adjust their mental mindset. Quarterback stats are one thing. Winning the game is what's more important. Hey, hey, hey. Steps out of bounds at the 47. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run. But they need to be careful to play action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. Set, Oakland. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. And off on the draw. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. No that brings up second and nine. Inside handoff. Runs it right. Nice pickup. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And they make the stop around the 22-yard line. That pass play went for nearly enough to keep moving, but they're stopped just short. Boy, that's tough. That is always a tough pill to swallow. Having to leave the field knowing how close you came to converting on third down. You got to get those. They'll get him for a loss. And the defense comes through. And the defense looked like they were expecting option on that play. Great job to pin him up and cause the turnover on down. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. And he is drilled at the 25-yard line. Here's a draw. He's level at the 23-yard line. So the halfback loses about two on the run. And I'll tell you what, not only was this great penetration, but it was a heck of a hit, too. From their own 23-yard line, it's third down. And he's going to come up with a sack. That makes it fourth and long. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Broke away from one. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. You wonder now if this guy will get alligator arms the next time the ball comes his way. It's been known to happen. Third down now and they need to get it inside the 42. Mike, Mike seven. Set. 
He's knocked out of bounds around the 37-yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. immediately tackled. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And he's tackled around the 35-yard line. Three-yard loss there. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. So it's fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. It's up. And it's off the upright, no good. Well, that's just unlucky. It looked pretty good from here. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Quick toss. This one will fall incomplete. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 35. Quick shot for the tailback and through his hands. Passes it to the middle of the field. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That brings up fourth and 11. Excellent punt. A nice yardage on the run back. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Thank you. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Makes it out to about the 43. Brought down at the 40. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 40-yard line. They'll bring him down at about the 43-yard line. That's a three-yard pickup on the option. Seven to Mike. Mike seven. Throws it in a hurry. And he's finally shoved out at the 14-yard line. He's scrambling. He 
He's taken down at the nine. Tackle at the one yard line. He laterals. There are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. It's second and goal. Ball on the six-yard line. situations where you have to go for it to try to get something going. Now they need a big play here from their defense. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Fires right side. Got his tailback. yard line second down and he tackles him hard at the 29 got some open field he's to the 40 makes it to the 47. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Wins it out left to the halfback. Tackle made the 36-yard line. Catches it, and that's all. second, third down that they've been able to convert on this drive. And this offense right now has really showed a lot of poise and been able to hold on to the football and try to maintain this drive. And he carries the ball for a nice game. And he picked up almost four on that halfback delay. This is the 12th play of this drive. Check 
He has some room. That's a great tackle at the four. This guy gets his arms around the ball carrier. I don't care who it is. He's not getting away. And this is the 14th play of the drive. Touchdown, Utes. He hits the PAT. It was a 14 play, 93 yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. They score now 38 13. I'm really surprised how lopsided this first half has been. But this is college football, and no matter what the score is, the adrenaline's always pumping on both sides. Fires it out, and down he goes at about the 33-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. Five wide. He's going to try and scramble. Northwestern is going to have to use their second time out of the half. He steps out right around the 42-yard line. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 42-yard line. Had his hands on it and dropped it. tries to buy some time. He's going to take off, and he's taken down at about the 47-yard line. So the ground game picks up another first down. Well, this really works on a defensive psyche. You can see the guys on defense right now are just trying to catch their win. Once again, they had a chance to bring this drive to a halt, but were unable to do it. The offense really seems to be clicking right now. From the 47-yard line, it's second down. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and they make the stop at the 47-yard line. This is the ninth play of this drive. The screen pass goes nowhere. Well, you got to take your hat off to the defense. All week, they preached over and over again how they were not going to let this kid use his speed in the open field, and they really shut him down that time. Once and all, going deep. Wow, an almost impossible pass to defend, and it goes for six. Yep, the defense would have needed 12 guys on the field that time. He makes the PAT. A nine-play, 76-yard drive, and they put up seven points. So we've played two quarters. The Utes lead 38-20. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. A look at the first half stats would tell you that neither ground game was very effective. Less than three yards per rush. Both teams will continue to try to run it. When you're not having success, how important is it to still maintain that physical nature, keep trying to run the football. I think every team's different, but when you got teams that have balance, I think those are the teams that you see are more successful. You make the defense honor the run. Now listen, 
if they continue to stop it and they continue to put eight guys in the box, I think you've got to pick your spots when you want to throw on first down. You can't be predictable and run it every single time, and you've got to be a little bit balanced, but it definitely pays dividends later in ball games if you stick with the run throughout a whole game. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, a lot of good games going. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're gonna be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah, we're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. All right, Reese and David. Thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He makes it to the 28-yard line. So they get about three on the draw. Here's an opening. He's to the 40. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Hey, Here's an opening. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. That's a team of 14 on the way. First down. On the ground, inside. He tackles him for a loss. From the 42-yard line, it's second down. Quick throw, and he's tackled right around the 38-yard line. two trips. Got an opening. Nice play to set up first and goal. of Lima just pancaked the defense on that one. And he adds the extra point. Northwestern yet set to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Wildcat staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. Hey, they're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. Gains his way to the 36-yard line.
gets out of bounds. The 42-yard line. Almost six yards on the play action. He makes his way to about the 48. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From the 33-yard line, second down. Nice run up the middle. Try a long field goal here. It has the distance, and it's good. Utah is ready to kick it away. He really got a hold of that kick. It's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some adjustments. But if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defensive line. Handoff to the right. Runs it right. Nice pickup. That's a four. That makes it second and six. Some hard at the 22. It's now third down and long. 13 yards to go for the first down after the sack. it out. Incomplete. Almost picked off. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. It's away and it's a booming punt. And he's tackled at the 40. Not great, but not bad either. As long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position, then you're headed in the right direction. Just about ready to call a first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last possession. And he's level at the 41. Field. He's tackled at the 49-yard line. Now he's scrambling. He's taken down at the 46. Hey, check Mike 46. Check Mike 46. He's wrapped up 
for the sack. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. Here's the halfback on the screen. Brought down around the 44-yard line. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. Booming kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. And they'll bring him down behind the line. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 19-yard line. He's out to the 30. Tackle at the 39-yard line. They'll bring him down around the 38-yard line. Throws this one away. It's third down and ten. Ball on their own 38. Tackle made around the 36 yard line. That makes it fourth and 12. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 44. Dumps it complete over the middle. And down he goes at the 47. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. And he's hit immediately. Five yards there for the quarterback. That makes it second and six. Makes it out to about the 30. That makes it first and 10. He gets out to about the 21 yard line. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Motion, motion, motion. 
That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he got it. Utah ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. He fights forward to about the 26. taken down. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's taken down at the 35. That makes it four inches. Excellent punt. He's tackled at the 18. Well, that was a great punt, and there was even better coverage on the return. We're set to get restarted as the offense looks to build on the success of their field goal on the last drive. And they make the stop, the 27-yard line. And the halfback picks up nine yards on the delay. And he tackles him hard at the 35 yard line. Fires out to his wideout. That's a great tackle at the 37 yard line. From their own 37 yard line. Third down. They'll drop in for a loss. Taken back three yards. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That brings us fourth and 11. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Ready to go. Pitches back. They bring him down in the backfield. From their own 27-yard line, second down. Get to that quickly. And he's tackled right around the 36-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Oh, 
He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. He's to the 40, makes it to the 44. This time, it's the safety. That INT puts him in a position to make this a game. Yeah, they really needed that. That's a huge boost to morale. First and 10. Ball on the 24-yard line. He's on the run. He's tackled at the 29. <laughs> He's taken down at the 43. First down. Hey, watch number five. Number five, watch number five. Mike seven. Mike seven. They hand it off. He's at the 30, makes it to the 24. First down. First down. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. From the 22-yard line, it's second down. middle got his back they'll bring him down for a loss on the play defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. It's fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. It's up. And he just drilled it from long range. Northwestern gets set to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Wildcats defense, I thought they looked lost in the first half, and it seems like they finally found their bearings here in the third quarter. I think they were confused in the first half, and I think they've made the right adjustments. And right now, boy, they're playing with an attitude, and I think they're really attacking this offense much better than the way they look early in this game. Decent run here, right side. That makes it second and six. He's got it out to his tight end. 
He steps out at the 41 yard line. The quarterback did an excellent job of recognizing the Mike linebacker on the blitz. He hung in there, delivered the pass, and his receiver made a good catch to move the sticks. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. He was able to deaden that kick perfectly, and he gives them a long field to work with. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Makes the grab past the marker. Brought down around the 28-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle at about the 39-yard line. his way to about the 48. That's good for a game of nine yards. That brings up second and one. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. We'll give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. He's scrambling. Good tackle there in space. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. Utah's in front by 14. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Four down, four down. Mike seven. Mike seven. Let's it go. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Touchdown, Wildcats. Great effort by the wide receiver. And not to take anything away from the quarterback, but the wide receiver made this play. It makes for an easy completion when you've got a guy who's that wide open. And he tacks on the extra point. A six play, 83 yard drive. And the result, seven points. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. It's been a good one so far today. Let's see what happens here. Well, we're over two minutes to go in the game. The offense has a chance here to secure the victory. All they have to do is pick up a first down, keep the clock moving, and be able to get out of here with a win. Scrambling around. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Utah is up seven. He 
he makes his way to about the 28. That's a that makes it 37. Now he's scrambling. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. Booming kick. And he's tackled at the 35. So he got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. And now they're faced with another third and long as they try to convert and move those chains again. They'll spread the field with five wide. Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he nails the long field goal. You know, I was wondering if he's going to get a chance to kick one of those. We saw him warming up from 60 yards before the game. So our score, Utah 44, Northwestern 40. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Utah holds a four-point lead. He makes his way to about the 38. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. Tackle made at the 33-yard line. The defensive end was the victor on that play as he bolted in to tackle him for a loss. And he's able to do that because the interior linemen held their ground, leaving the runner with no options. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. Big opening! Tackle that side after a nice pickup. That's a game of four. That makes it third and 11. Throws to the middle. And down he goes at the 31. What a play. That was a great throw. And I'll tell you, as we mentioned before, he is so accurate with the football. This thing is placed perfectly here, allowing the receiver to come up with a big game. And he carries the ball for a nice game. And 
he's taken down at the 28-yard line. When this guy gets his arms around the ball carrier, I don't care who it is, he's not getting away. They'll line it up again on third down. Utah is up by four. Kicks up, and he got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know this is a real down, crucial down. time in the game. It could still go either way. Going deep. And it's going the other way. And they make the stop around the 45-yard line. And that is an absolutely huge turnover for this defense. They couldn't have picked that off at a better time. Just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass, especially at this point in the game. From the 45-yard line, it's first down. Complete. He's got room. He's out of bounds. Right around the 40. That makes it second and six. Check by 46. Check by 46. Caught and he's hit immediately. That'll make it 35. They try to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. Utah is up by a touchdown. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Got some open field. And he's tackled right around the 34. Seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Seven to Mike, Mike seven. Has some daylight. Four-yard line. Second down. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. He's tackled at the 36. That makes 
And this play is number eight on the drive. Under pressure. Number 17. Fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. Kicks away. And he splits the uprights. Western ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Utah is up four. He's taken down at about the 43-yard line. wide. Runs in and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. That brings up second and From their own 41 yard line. Second down. Up the middle for a nice game. left, gets it out to the halfback, and they'll bring him down behind the line. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. And he's tackled right away. He goes over 100 yards in receptions. Well, this guy is such a big part of this offense. If he doesn't get his numbers, they usually don't have much success moving the football. hate playing against teams that run the option well. It's so unpredictable. That time they couldn't defend it properly and they gave up a first down. Bruin, Bruin. Catches it and he's immediately tackled behind the line. That'll be a loss of one. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Second down and 11. Ball on the 39. Strike and he drops it. This one's going deep to the end zone. No, incomplete. Good effort there by the receiver, but just not enough room for him to get a foot down in bounds. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. It's up. 
And he just drilled it from long range. Great snap and a perfect hold, and he just had an awesome follow-through. Everything went right there on that long field goal. So the score now, Utah 47, Northwestern 46. Northwestern lines up for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Utah is up one. He's going to try and scramble. No one open, so he's going to run. Brought down at the 41 yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That'll bring up second and three. Go, He makes it to the 48-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. Hands it to the back. Runs right for a nice game. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. That's a two-yard loss. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. This is the ninth play of this drive. Utah, up a point. Tackle at midfield. Loss of five there. That play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Now he wants to get this kick away and change field position. Oh, excellent punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. He fights forward to about the 36. They got the turnover. Uh, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Utah with a one-point lead. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Well, you 
You've got a chance here to build on your lead, or at the very least, chew up some clock. The last thing you can afford to do is turn the football over. Boy, they were very fortunate. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. Under heavy pressure, zips it left. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. The offense comes back out. And as I'm sure you'll remember, their last possession ended in a lost fumble. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football. Quick throw. Tackle made at the 24. Gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Hey, watch number five, number five, watch number five. Mike seven, Mike seven. And he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Third down and six yards to go. Ball on the 24. Just under three to go in regulation. And he's going to be sacked. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only did they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Not a great return there. Boy, he got a hold of that ball. This punter has a big-time leg, and you can see that when he gets a hold of a ball like that. It really goes. So the offense comes out after their last drive, had the ball end up in the defense's hands by way of a fumble. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. by the offense, Brad. At this point, they're just trying to work the clock and preserve the victory. Northwestern's going to have to use their second time out of the hat. We've got a second and 14. Ball on the 48-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Tackled after a decent pickup. Gain of six on the draw play. The Wildcats using their third and last timeout. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Runs it left for a decent game. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. it up and it's long enough he clanks it off the upright no good here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game and who's going to come to the forefront we'll see who's got the most leadership 
and here's a quick throw. Makes the grab and steps out right away. He's under pressure. It's broken up. The defense needed that one. How about the move here by this cornerback? Great play that time, getting a hand on the football. From the 38-yard line, it's second down. I got two. I got two. It's caught. First down, and he's out of bounds. Quick throw. Almost intercepted. From the 27-yard line. It's second down. Under a minute left. He launches one for the end zone. He brings it in for the score and the lead. Wildcats knew they had a star quarterback. He came through for them in the clutch. And this defense knows how good this quarterback is. In fact, that's why they decided to try to get as much pressure on him as they could. They weren't able to get home, leaving him plenty of time to make the throw, and he delivered when he needed to. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. This is what you dream about, situations like this. You've got the football, you're behind, but if you take the lead, it could mean a win. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. The Utes taking their first time out of the half. Third and very long, and it's going to take a miracle to convert here. They come out in a five-wide set. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. Hey, check Mike 46. Check Mike 46. Are you down? He chucks it downfield. Picked off, and that's going to wrap this one up. And he's tackled around the 47-yard line. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes the knee. The Utes use their second timeout. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. Utah's out of timeout. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. Western staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.